the rotating assembly may be serviced without disconnecting the suction or discharge piping. However, the pump must be drained and the power source must be removed to provide clearance. Please refer to all safety procedures before doing this. The impeller should be loosened while the rotating assembly is still secured to the pump casing. Before loosening the impeller, remove the seal cavity drain plug and drain the seal lubricant. This will prevent the oil in the seal cavity from escaping when the impeller is loosened. Clean and reinstall the seal cavity drain plug. Immobilize the impeller by wedging a block of wood between the vanes and the pump casing and remove the impeller cap screw and washer. Install the shaft key. Install a lathe dog on the drive end of the shaft with the V-notch positioned over the shaft key. With the impeller rotation still blocked, use a long piece of heavy bar stock to pry against the arm of the lathe dog in a counterclockwise direction when facing the drive end of the shaft. When the impeller breaks loose, remove the lathe dog, key, and wood block. Do not remove the impeller until the rotating assembly has been removed from the pump casing. The next step is to remove the hardware securing the rotating assembly to the pump casing. Pusher bolt holes are available to assist in removal. An optional disassembly tool to remove the rotating assembly is available from the factory. If the tool is used, follow the instructions packed with it. To install the tool, remove the vented plug from the bearing housing and screw the longest length of pipe into the vent hole until fully engaged. Install the T and screw the handles into the T. Separate the rotating assembly by pulling straight away from the pump casing. Use caution when lifting the rotating assembly to avoid injury to personnel or damage to the assembly. Remove the bearing housing O-ring. For more information on pump hydraulics, equipment, or application engineering, watch Gorman Rupp's YouTube channel and visit us at grpumps.com.